Hi guys, long time no see. So today we're going to talk about stem cells and this is going to cover the 2016 new syllabus. So it's very up to date. Stem cells. What are they? Well, stem cells have the capacity to divide along different pathways, while differentiated cells only go through one pathway. This means stem cells have the potential to become different cell types like muscle tissue or the cells of your internal organs, while differentiated cells have already reached their final structure. There are two main functions of stem cells, which is either to restore old cells or differentiate into different cell types. So there are four types of stem cells. Totipotent stem cells can form into any cell type, even placental tissue. Pluripotent stem cells can form into any cell type but not placental tissue. An example is embryonic cells. Multipotent cells can differentiate into closely related cells. And lastly, unipotent cells cannot differentiate but can renew themselves and an example is muscle cells. As you guys can see, this goes in order of broad to narrow in terms of what it can differentiate into. Stem cells can diagnose and treat many diseases and there are different ways of treating diseases depending on the type of disease. But basically, you chemically trigger the stem cell to differentiate into the cell you want. Then you implant it into your tissue, typically by injecting a huge needle. If you take the cell from a donor, you have to make sure your immune system doesn't fight back. Sometimes if your immune system does, you have to take antibiotics for the rest of your life because your body's constantly thinking that this foreign substance is harmful or toxic to the body. One example that IV requires you to know is the Stargardt's disease. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but anyways. It is basically a juvenile macular degeneration in the retina of your eye, which results in progressive vision loss. So, to treat this, basically, stem cells attach to the retina and grows, regenerating the photoreceptors in your eyes and restoring your vision. This improves vision, and this is typically for younger people from ages 6 to 12 because the vision loss is prevalent during that age time. The IB requires you to know Stargardt's disease and one other named condition, and I figure most of us will know leukemia the best, so here it is. Leukemia is a mutation in genes that control cell division, so cell division goes out of control. This leads to an abnormal amount of white blood cells, and although white blood cells fight infection, too much is dangerous. People with leukemia have to go through chemotherapy, which aims to destroy your white blood cells, but in the process it also destroys your healthy cells. Um, and that's why you see a lot of patients who have undergone chemotherapy lose their hair. Their hair follicles are one of the fastest growing cells in the body, but they're getting destroyed as well. Now that they have lost most of their cells, they need to replenish their red blood cells. That's why they use stem cells from the bone marrow. There are two ways to transplant, either from yourself or from a bone marrow donor. If you're taking your bone marrow, you extract fluid from the bone marrow using a needle freeze the stem cells after you go through chemotherapy and you inject it into your body and it starts to produce new red blood cells. If you're getting it from a donor, the donor extracts your stem cells and gives it to you after chemotherapy. So that's the treatment of leukemia. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you and see you guys next time. Bye!